Hey hi, what's going on guys? Welcome to part 21st on CMS Blogging Systrum. Guys, I believe this is one of the longest video series that I can ever imagine of. So that is the reason from now I would be writing code before creating these videos and out here I'm going to explain everything to you step by step. So guys, if you remember properly last time we created a class called manage post where we created a couple of methods to render post with our teams. And in this particular video we're going to go ahead and we're going to, you know, deal with a class called manage comments.php. So what you can do is you can go inside the applications folder and create a new file with the name called class.manage comments.php. Okay? Once you're going to create that file, very first we need to include our connection file because without having any connections, we cannot deal with databases. And guys, the very next thing is you know create a class, name this particular class with name called manage comments, and inside it create a very first function which named as create comment box. What this particular method gonna do is it gonna just render a basic HTML form on the page where we're gonna actually call this particular method. So here I created a variable with name called form value. And out here is the normal HTML form with some form tags and here it says action equals to the same page with a query appended to it saying comments equals to dollar get post. Okay guys, if you are not able to get what exactly it is, don't worry once we're gonna actually, you know, uh, submit any comment then it will make more sense to you. And here it says ID and name, so probably we can, you know, uh, take it off. Or what I can do is I can take the name off and for the ID I can say comment box so that later you can reference it with your CSS if you want to give any styles to it. Because next thing is a label with an input box then you know again a label for email and an input box and same thing is for website and the very last thing would be the actual comments and a submit button. So guys these are the basic fields that are required in every single comment form. We do need name, email, website and comments. And guys and in the very last I'm going to return this particular variable because if you will remember properly every function do return something. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our single.php file that's inside our team with a name called portfolio and guys out here we're going to call this particular method so guys do not worry what I have wrote out here on the top just go ahead and you know very first you need to do is you need to create an instance of this particular class so out here I'm going to say a dollar comment in it is equals to the new instance of the class called manage comments. Once you are done creating the instance, you are ready to go and ready to access any method inside this particular class. So the very first method that we need to access is this particular method which is known as create comment box. So you can say echo comment in it that's actually a variable which contains the instance of the class called manage comments and the method would be create comment box that's all you require but guys do not forget we cannot reference any class without including it and if you will remember properly we are we created a file called init.php where we are including every class file so earlier we included the file called class.manage a post and right now we're gonna include a file called class.manage comments. Once you're done with including this file and once you're done you know creating an instance and calling this particular method go to your browser and open this particular page. So here I'm gonna say you know localhost and I'm gonna click on CMS and guys we cannot see anything on the index page because we haven't wrote anything out there but I'm gonna go to single.php uh, I'm really sorry I have to say index.php and post equal to one and guys you will notice out here is the post that I have created from my admin panel and here on the bottom it says you know a comment box now guys you have all flexibility to go ahead and start it from your side we're not gonna do it in this particular video later once we would be creating a basic theme then we're gonna take care of styling and guys you will notice everything is out here now guys the next thing we need to take care of would be 
the actual method which gonna take these values and gonna you know <clears throat> insert it to a database as a new comment so for that we have created a new method called submit comments what this particular function gonna do for us is this particular function gonna take a couple of parameters and it gonna in <clears throat> insert them to the database so those parameters gonna be the name the email the website and the comments okay apart from that I have created four different variables which are required to take care of the common functionality and that would be the common date the common time the common status because we do not want anyone to you know write some crap in our comments and we're gonna show it to the entire world so by default every comment would be under pending once we're gonna approve it from our admin panel then only it would be visible to the entire world and the very last one would be on which particular post we actually you know posted this comment so that would be the post ID okay and here it says that's a get variable we're gonna discuss about it later but for now here is you know some <clears throat> basic checks the very first one is you know making sure that the required fields are not empty okay and guys then very next one would be you know we are filtering the email with a method called filter validate email and guys if you are not sure about what these filters are then you can go ahead and access one of my videos on YouTube and you will came to know what all these filters are in PHP once you know their email is validated then we're gonna make sure that you know uh, this particular post ID is an integer that means that someone is not doing some funny stuff with our URLs and if they're not doing uh, then it's quite sure our ID would be an integer and if it's an integer that's fine otherwise we're gonna give them an error and the very last check gonna be uh, we're gonna make sure if the website variable is not empty that means a user is trying to enter their website then only go ahead and validate that particular website okay and if it's not validated let them know that it's not a valid website name else go ahead and submit it to the database and here is the SQL query I'm running just submit it to the database with a table name called comments that we're gonna create right now or probably I have created I'm gonna discuss it with you so we're gonna insert name email website the actual comments the user entered the post ID like on which particular post the comment submitted with uh, the comment date comment time and the comment status and here are the variables we created out here on the top or we got from the parameters then guys if we are able to affect one row that means we are able to submit then we're gonna you know give them a success message otherwise we're gonna let them know you know like there was an error you can you know try uh, after some time so guys once this is done you will notice what I'm doing is out here on the top I'm giving an action where it says you know caution mark comments to get post so guys what I did is I created a new file inside my themes portfolio where it says manage comments so every time a user gonna hit this particular submit button the user will be redirected towards this particular file which is called manage comments and in order to make sure that everything is working perfectly fine we need to make one change to our controller so go go back to your applications folder inside the controller you need to include one more else if statement so if you will remember properly we are running these else if statements to make sure that we are able to include every file properly with our themes so <clears throat> once a user you know gonna hit this particular submit button okay at that particular time we're gonna include a file called manage comments.php so go ahead enter this particular else if statement that's all you require save this file and close this particular file once that thing would be done come back to your themes folder go back to your actual team that you are working with create a new file name that particular file to manage underscore comments dot php once that's done open that particular file 
very first we need to include our header file because guys if you will remember properly header file is including this particular init file which actually contains all the classes okay so I'm gonna go back to teams and here is my manage comments next thing is I'm making a check if the person is hitting this particular submit button okay because the submit button have a name to submit then create these four variables okay the one is name email website and comments and that that actually gonna be the post values and you know create the instance of the class manage comments which is out here and run a method called submit comments okay guys so do everything what I did out here come back <clears throat> refresh your page once again and let's go ahead and submit a new comment I'm gonna say my name uh, my email ID and here I'm gonna say this is awesome okay and here I'm gonna click on submit comment you will notice here it says your comment is awaiting moderation and will be visible after admin approval and guys here it says a go back button guys this particular go back button is not a normal HTML link the reason behind that is we are not sure from which particular page the user came like on which particular post they were so that is the reason I'm using a JavaScript go back button that will make sure the user will go back to the previous page they were on so if you will come back to class uh, manage comments uh, I believe out here here it says you know uh, ERF which have you know uh, nothing inside it and I'm saying on click history dot go minus one this is actually a JavaScript way to go one step back uh, from the current page and here I'm saying go back so here I'm gonna click go back and you will notice I'm back to the post with an ID of one guys once everything done from this particular page we need to make sure that the comments which were submitted to this page are also visible on this particular page and right now if you will notice out here it says there are no comments so for that I created one more method out here inside the file called manage comments it's a very simple basic SQL query which is making sure we are grabbing all the comments from a table called comment where the post ID is equals to this particular ID out here on the top and the comment status would be equals to approved so I'm gonna change that time here the comment status is equals to approved and if it is you know go ahead run a while statement and grab everything inside of where uh, an array probably called result and in the very last we are returning that particular variable called result and if I'll come back to the file called single.php out here on the top uh, probably here guys what I did is uh, I said existing comments is equals to the function called render comments and we are passing the parameter that is required and here I'm saying if the result is not equal to zero that means there are some comments approved for this particular post so go ahead and echo them one by one okay and if not let the user know that there are no comments next thing would be guys we need to create this particular table called comments so go ahead and create a table called comments I'm gonna click on structure and we're gonna discuss about how the structure would be for this this particular table very first we need a field with with a name called name with a war chart 250 the next one would be an email with a war chart 250 then would be the website again a war chart a comment would be text because a user can write you know endless numbers of letters or characters I would say the next thing would be the post ID we need to keep a reference this particular post belongs to uh, I'm really sorry this particular comment belongs to which particular post the comment date comment time and the comment status that's all with this particular table and guys do not worry I'm gonna leave everything as a source file and I'm gonna you know leave this particular database SQL file as well now we are done creating a comment let's go back to our admin panel and let's see how those comments actually gonna look so here I'm gonna say admin okay here I'm gonna go view comments 
and guys you will notice there are two comments which are actually submitted by me and both are pending so I'm gonna close all these files I'm gonna go back to my admin folder and here we're gonna create a new file with the name called view comments very first we need to include the header to make sure we have this particular header out here on the top and we need to you know I'm gonna delete this particular JavaScript file we don't need that and here uh, we need to you know create some basic HTML markup with a couple of links to the same page and you know uh, to the same page with a uh, get query where it says comment type to approve comment type to pending and comment type to trash quite similar to the one we created for the post if I'll go to view post guys you will notice this one is quite similar to the one which says view comments and then I have included a file called script slash get comments.php this is actually a PHP file I'm gonna discuss right now but before that guys one change I have made to my header file is I have added a new link here called view comments.php because so that we can actually view the comments which are out here so now I'm gonna go to scripts folder and here where it says get comments guys what you need to do is go ahead copy everything where it says get post and paste it to the file called get comments okay once that would be done you need to make a couple of changes the very first one <clears throat> would be you need to change if a set dollar comment type here it was a post type here we are changing it to comment type same changes are made to this particular variable and the reference to this variable and we have also made a change to this particular SQL query on our get post it was saying select all from post where post status was post type and here we are saying select all from comment where comment status is equal to comment type okay then again everything would be same we're gonna change these static HTML uh, data that here it says name email the actual comment posted on uh, the comment date and time the comment status and the actions then guys uh, out here everything gonna remain same here uh, it says snippet explode comments and if you will remember for the post it was saying explode description so you need to change this description to comments here then everything would be same for this guys one more thing I added out here is what I'm doing is uh, if you will see inside this particular table we are getting the ID of the post so what I'm doing is I'm using this particular ID to get the title of the post from this particular post table so what I did is I actually you know, run a very basic SQL query which says select all from post where ID is equal to post ID which is actually a variable we are getting from our comments table now if we are able to you know get that particular post we're gonna render it its title out here here it says post title and here if you're not able to get that means that particular post does not exist anymore and here you know again we are rendering it in the same way here it says in the name email snippet to use post title comment date comment type and comment status and guys if you're able to get this particular section in the right way all you need to do is go ahead and copy the same section to the else statement and the changes you need to do is remove the where clause from this particular statement that's all from this particular you know a render comment SQL query and we are now we are left with you know we view these comments if you want we can approve them if you want we can you know uh, put them inside trash we can delete them we can do a lot of stuff and that we're gonna do in the next video not right now so I will see you guys next time goodbye